So you've got the moon card over here and you might be feeling a bit down, a bit uh, confused about things that are going on around you. You might not be seeing things very clearly right now. Um, you know, having a lot of dreams, a lot of visions, um, you know, thinking on a very deep level, trying to make some kind of spiritual connection as well with the moon card. Uh, but the moon also speaks about hidden things, so things not coming to light just yet. So things are being kept from you or you're not seeing the situation for what it actually is. Now you've got the clock uh, tower over here. So this is, uh, you know, spending a lot of time by yourself. Um, and also, uh, you know, maybe feeling like time is passing you by. So that is the energy that is going through this card. But spending a lot of time by yourself. You're pretty stable, but maybe feeling a lo uh, very lonely as well. Maybe, like I said, feeling like time is, is passing you by. Now, um... There's been some sort of gift that has come in for you, some kind of revelation, maybe an invitation. Uh, maybe, um, you know, uh, somebody has sent you a, a present. Uh, so something has come in for you that has made you pretty happy. Uh, maybe things have changed a little bit and you feel like maybe that's the gift from the universe as well that has come in for you. Now, in the past, you might have been dealing with family issues as well. And there might have been a home move. Uh, for you as well, uh, or you could have been meet. You could have met somebody from a foreign country. So maybe you have met some. You know, you maybe ha you have been involved in some kind of travel, and maybe you have met somebody, or you have an interest in somebody, uh, a foreigner. Now going to the future, you've got the bear over there and the house. Um, so uh, a stability coming in as well with this card of the house or maybe dealing with issues involving your home or your house um, and you might be dealing with a person uh, or a, a partner who is a bit dominating domineering um, somebody that pushes you around and maybe that's depressing you that's the thing that is depressing you that you're dealing with somebody who's a bit overbearing uh, a bit of um, you know a, bu a bit of a bully if you like and they may be stirring us up Standing up, stirring up some problems within the home life as well. Um, you might also be focusing on things to do with the home um, and you're dealing with a partner that is uh, uh, not budging, maybe not giving in or uh, not um, seeing things the way you want or doing things the way you want it to be done. Uh, they might be, you know, exerting their, uh, pushing their weight around if you like. So somebody that is, um, you know, pushing you around a little bit. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So this is the Jane Austen Tarot, and I'll be using that for the main read. So the main card is the High Priestess, and this is, you might be doing, um, you know, some further studying, or you might be involved in some kind of further education. The High Priestess is the Keeper of Secrets, and she's also the Keeper of Knowledge. So, you know, you might be preparing for maybe an exam, or doing something that involves studying. Um, you're also, uh, you know, maybe um, isolating yourself a little bit, uh, or, um, you know, um, Keeping your distance from people as well. Uh, not saying what you really want to say. Keeping all your emotions and all your feelings uh, deeply locked within you yourself. Um, and trying not to, to let anybody know what's going on with you. Uh, you know, maybe being very secretive about a lot of things as well. You're following your intuition a lot. She's got her cat over here. And so you're doing things uh, based on what, you, you know, what your gut instinct is. So, um, you know, spending a lot of time by yourself, but also using your intuition a lot to solve a lot of problems. And you might be doing a lot of studying, a lot of learning as well at this particular moment. So what's happening with you? You're pretty busy with your work. You're very focused on your work. A lot of things going on for you. You can see this is a card of really multitasking. Um, you know, you might be caring for somebody. You, you're meeting a lot of people, doing some, you know, doing some studying or some learning, learning new skills, maybe involved in a lot of correspondence um, with people, um, you know, collaborating with a lot of people. For the Eight of Coins, you know, working very hard, but also focused on it and doing multiple things at the same time. And you're meeting a lot of people as well. You've got three, uh, three of teacups over here. So making a lot of friends uh, in your work situation as well. So, uh, you know, maybe very platonic relationships, 
but spending a lot more time socializing as well. So you're pretty busy at work and you're pretty busy, uh, you know, on your social life as well. And you're still trying to get some studying or some kind of learning going on. So you're a very, very busy person at this particular moment. So in the past, you may have started a new job or you may have started a new relationship with this Ace of Coins. And it's a very, very stable relationship. It could well be the case. Uh, but from the fact, you know, the fact that you're spending a lot of time socializing or working, seems like, you know, um, this is more uh, where you've started a new job or a new career path um, and new money has come in rather than being involved in a relationship. So you've got the lady of uh, candlesticks over here. So you might have been dealing with a fire sign person who um, may have, uh, you know, they might be causing a little, little bit of upheaval in your life or, um, you know, you're dealing with this person who could be a, um, a Leo Aries or a Sagittarius person. And this uh, they might be corresponding with you because you can see she's getting some news or letters or you might be waiting for some, um, might have been waiting for some kind of letter or, or uh, news from this person uh, as well. So this is something to do with a project or a job that you've been doing. So you seem to be very focused on your work. And, you know, even in the work that you're doing, um, you know, you're getting correspondence from somebody that you're dealing with uh, who is, like I said, a fireside person or a businesswoman that you're dealing with as well. So what's in your mind? You've got the tower card over here. So you want to make big changes and, and maybe something big has happened in your life and you're maybe recovering from that big um, uh, problem that you had. Now, this seems to be something that has happened in the past because you are thinking about it, thinking about what happened and what caused a big stir up, a big um, issue in your life. And it seems like you are using your work uh, to distract you from whatever happened. So whatever big issue happened caused a very big, a dramatic event in your life and now you're focusing more on your work and career path and your friends and socializing uh, in order to deal with this big dramatic uh, event that happened it could have been the death of somebody it could have been uh, um, the end of a relationship as well but whatever it is you use your work and you know your socializing to distract you from that uh, event that happened but it's still playing on your mind you're still recovering from it now you're taking control of situations um, you know uh, you're not allowing people to tell you what to do you can see this woman's putting her hand over that man's mouth so uh, around you any you're not listening to what anybody's got to say you are there and you're following your own truth and you are not taking any advice from anybody at all you're determined to do things your own way now so you've got the um, ace of candlesticks over here so you've got the power back in your hand you may have started a new project and you are now focused completely on that so you, you might have started a new job and a new project as well has come in for you and so that is where you are focusing all your energies on and around you, people look and see you as somebody who is very, very uh, geared towards their work and towards uh, doing their job. You're very, very work orientated. You're very focused on bringing your message forth. And, you know, you may have friends in the background, but you're not really spending much time or dedicating much of your time towards relationships, it seems. What you want is to follow a new path. You want a new direction in life. You want to start something brand new. So you're thinking of changing the way you do things. Um, maybe going back to doing, th completing things from the past with this judgment card. Uh, but you really feel the, the call, the, the need to change the way your life has been. You want to make a dramatic change. And this has been inspired by this tower. So something really big and dramatic happened in your life. And now you want to change it completely. So going into the future, um, it looks like um, you've got the Ten of Candlesticks over here, the Six of Candlesticks, and the Three of Quills. It looks like, um, you know, you have been working very hard, and it's becoming very burdensome, and it's isolating you uh, from everyone else because you're carrying so many responsibilities, or you have so many things to do. Um, you know, you're, you're taking all these extra responsibilities on, and you really don't have any time for socializing. So everybody else is going out and having a good time, but you seem to be working quite a bit. And it looks like you do want to. You're getting invitations, or you there are people that want you to come out with them, but it seems like you are, uh, you know, shunning the crowd and... Um, um, opting to spend time on your work. You've got the king and the six of candlesticks over here. So this is, um, you know, a need, 
um, recognition coming in through your work, uh, but also need to move away from that burdensome situation. So it seems like you're going to make a decision to move away and uh, discard all those burdens. Now, this is the 10 of candlesticks. So letting go of responsibilities, letting go, go of uh, taking, maybe taking care of others. And now you're going to be focusing on yourself. So you're going to be moving away from that situation. You're ending that situation and you're going to be moving away from it with the six of candlesticks over here. Um, and it looks like there's some communication coming in for you as well. So, um, Maybe, uh, you know, you've received some kind of news or some kind of information um, that has left you feeling very disappointed or upset. Maybe things didn't go the way that you wanted it to. Maybe a relationship didn't work out. Maybe, um, you know, um, a proposal that you made to somebody or, um, you know, where you were um, in communication with somebody. Uh, that you were attracted to, that didn't work out, and that's left you very, very un unhappy, broken-hearted. And maybe this is the reason why you decided that you don't want to focus so much on your work and you want to have more fun, it seems, uh, and get away from that situation where you're taking on so much of responsibilities. So there is some kind of communication that has come in or will be coming in uh, that is not, you know, the news is not very pleasant. Uh, it's a bit upsetting. And this is the thing that is going to probably spur you into action to make you change the way you're doing things. So I need to stop focusing so much on uh, your work and needing a need to start something new, um, you know, have more fun. Um, because it seems like whatever this, uh, um, the work that you're doing seems to be isolating you, keeping you alone and not allowing you to go out there and have the fun and meet the people that you want. And it doesn't look like you're in any kind of relationship, but it seems like you do want to be in a relationship. Um, and you know, you are looking to change your, your, um, you want that happy family life. You want, um, you know, you want what everybody else has, uh, as far as happiness goes. Um, and you know, but you're, you've, you've ended up doing it in a way where you're focused so much on your work, um, that it's, it's, you know, making you really miserable. It's making you very isolated. So there is a need for you to discard those burdens and for you to move forward, um, you know, and go out there and have a bit more fun. The six of wands is about having a, a lot more fun, you know, getting your recognition from some, from the world, but also, um, you know, um, the wands cards is about changing the energy in your life to something more, um, you know, positive. So you've got the four of Gabriel and the seven of Gabriel, and these are, um, energies of the rods uh, or the wands. So there's a lot of fire energy that you need to bring into your life. And it's time for celebration, abundant rewards for hard work, release yourself from burdens and situations. So with the Ten of Wands, it's releasing yourself from these burdens. And the Four of Wands is advising you that you do need to do that. You need to go out there and have more fun. You are going to be rewarded for all the hard work that you're do, doing, but work is not everything and you need to find a more balanced life. With the seven of Gabriel, you stand up for what you believe in and have confidence and claim your personal power. So you need to have more confidence in what you do and you need to be more positive thinking and you need to get out there. You have, you need to put yourself out there uh, and, uh, you know, uh, use that fire energy that you have around you uh, to bring in or attract more friends. And you've got the star here. So this is a dream come true. Believe in yourself, the end of a difficult situation. So you're, with both these cards, it looks like, uh, you know, uh, this four of Gabriel and the star card, uh, your difficulties are now come, have come to an end. You need, to, you can see in the star card, she's throwing out, uh, the negative emotions from these cups. And she's keeping the thing, uh, she's getting inspiration from the star. So, you know, there's divine inspiration coming for you, uh, um, you know, some kind of revelation coming in for you, but also a need to throw out the things that are negative in your life, to get rid of the burdens in your life and realize that life is not all about work and it is time for you to start having some fun and bringing in, attracting that love and that uh, energy into your life again. So, uh, you know, stop focusing so much on work because you seem to be doing so many things here with this eight of coins um you know uh, this is the card of, of virgo almost because it's got so many tasks that you are doing so many things that maybe you are excluding your friends or excluding the people that want, want to have fun with you and so you need to attract in that positive energy by going out and letting go of the burdens and going out and having some fun um, and that is how you will attract 
happiness into your life again. And also these cards are talking about having the confidence to do it. So you need to stop uh, isolating yourself deliberately because um, the... Um, the high priestess tends to sit by herself and she sits quietly. She doesn't let anybody know what's going on with her. So you need to communicate a lot more with people around you and get involved um, in order for you to attract that love and uh, that happiness and that joy into your life and attract the situations and the people into your life. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.